they want right there. I want, I want to get you in the perspective where they get an idea. Of it. Yeah, I mean, y'all can't even tell. I mean, this is a monster tunnel. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. Today, me and Casey are out again exploring yet another old mining town site. And today we're actually headed to Fish Trap Tunnel that I told y'all about here a couple weeks ago. If you didn't see that video, what it is is this is an original train tunnel that we're headed to in the middle of the woods. It's been abandoned for many, many years. The story about this tunnel though is pretty intriguing. The miners apparently went on strike and the union was going to send in scabs to replace the workers that were on strike and the workers actually held the tunnel up at gunpoint and stopped the train from bringing in the scab workers. So this tunnel is a pretty cool place. I've seen pictures of it online, but have never been there. But on the way up, we were walking and there's a piece of trash right there from Brookside, Alabama. That is a circle slug bottle, probably right around 1910, right off of this hillside. And you can see that looks like that's probably a miner's pail. So we're on the right track, we've seen some brick, and being that we've never been here before, this is going to be a bit of a search. The directions that I received were from a nice older woman who basically said, go about a quarter mile and hang her right. So <laughs> that's what we've done. We have no distinguishing landmarks to go by. We're hoping that we're pretty close though. By the trash that we're seeing and the way that this is actually really leveled off through here, I would think that this is either the original roadbed or the railroad site. So we'll get back with you when we get close to the tunnel. I can't even explain to y'all how tranquil this setting is. Really big hills surrounding us on both sides. And this is a nice little valley. We think that we're following the railroad track still because of how flat it is along this bank. If I don't fall down. And uh, hopefully the tunnel is gonna be right up here on the right. Oh man, yeah. There's pylons for the mine right there. And there's the mine right up there behind it. You see it? Yeah, that's it. So we actually found the mine. That's not what we were looking for. But we're gonna walk over here and take a look. So there's pylons for the mine. And the mine's right up there behind it. We'll walk up there. It looks like it's collapsed. I was just telling Casey, this creek right here, needs to be walked. Should have wore my waders. There we go. Let's go up here and take a look. So right here is where the mine would have been. And it's definitely collapsed. But yeah, that would have been dug under right there. And that would have probably been a slope shaft. The way that it is, it's way, way collapsed. It'd take a lot of digging to get that back open. That's crazy though. I wasn't anticipating finding a mine today. That's pretty cool though. Here's another opening. And this looks like this is another opening. This is all very flat through this area where they would have had mine cars running back and forth. You can see the remnants with the old bricks laying here. Is there air coming through there? Uh, like they had to stack up, didn't they? Yeah, they had this set up pretty nice, it looks like. It just goes right back out the other side right there. All right, I got sidetracked. Let's go back and look for the train tunnel. That's what we're here for. <laughs> look at the size of this tree, guys. In Alabama, it is very rare to come upon a spot that has never been logged. If you look right here in this picture, right up there on the top, you see all those pine trees? That's all been logged. Down here where we're at has not. And that's because the tractors couldn't get down here to this particular area. We're gonna have to walk back and go up a little bit further to get to where that tunnel is. This is apparently the mine site. We found four or five shafts on both sides of this ravine, all collapsed but the train tunnel still stands. So we still got some daylight. We're gonna make our way over there to it. Hopefully find it here in the next few minutes. So we were admiring this footer that you see right back there to where there was a mine. And Casey's like, man, how'd you miss this? And right there 
is your mule shoe. We were just having a conversation about whether or not this was train pulled or if this was a mule cart scenario. I think that answers our question right there. Oh, this guy, old. So this is an old, old, old location. Super cool. At this point, we're just following the breadcrumbs. That's an old coffee jar, I believe. Got the original lid on it. Somebody had replaced it with a ball lid at some point and been reused. Now, where's all the gold coins that they put in that, man? That's crazy. Let's keep going. And we have found it. Sorry for the shaky camera work. Pretty excited. I've been wanting to get over here for quite some time. Ooh, I'm standing in quicksand. And walking through a briar patch. You may do better over there, Casey. <laughs> Holy cow. So this is where the train would have originally went through the mountain. You can hear the suction on my boots in this mud. You can, man, you can still see the steel rails hanging from the ceiling. Oh, here we go. Man. <laughs> here we go, now we're talking. And guess what? actually brought a flashlight today so we should be able to see here in just a second got to find the spot that is the least slick let's see here this clay can be tricky you'll think that it's dry and then as soon as you stand on it your feet shoot out from underneath of you Oh, it's deep in there, dude. Holy cow. Man, I don't know when the camera turned off, but it did. But that is deep. We need waders to walk through that, and I didn't wear mine like an idiot. Yeah, I was gonna say, it takes a turn right back there to the right and uh, comes out the other side. So I think we may turn around and walk that way and see if the other entrance may be a little bit more hospitable because <laughs> I'm literally hanging on the side of a clay bank right now to get this visual that we're looking at. But holy cow, that's cool, guys. All right, let's walk to the other side. I can't tell you how big this is. It's probably 30 foot high and at least 25 foot wide. You can see the seam of coal in the wall. So as we make our way to the other side of this tunnel, I guess they got tired of going through it. It was getting a little bit uneasy it was crumbling they decided to come in here and literally blast an entire mountain out to put the railroad tracks right through the center so this is now the railroad bed and over there in that rock is that tunnel so let's head to the other side i sure hope that it's easier to get to them <laughs> but that that's what i was just hanging off of if so hopefully i'll be able to get some better video for y'all coming up on the other side of the tunnel. And this is awesome. You can just see the water running out of here. creek again put up air yachts through it today hey look there was a road right to it <laughs> there's a road goes right there there it is that's what i was wanting to see from the other side much better how cool is that That other side, I had to climb up a dang clay bank. Come over here and you can walk right up to it. Whew, 
God, this is awesome. I can hear that steam engine coming through here. I wonder how many thousands and thousands of people have went through this train tunnel. And I actually wonder when the very last train went through this tunnel. Probably in the 20s if I had to guess. Hey, walk right there. I, I want to get you in the perspective where they get an idea of. How big it is. Yeah, I mean, y'all can't even tell. I mean, this is a monster tunnel. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. It was worth the walk, man. Oh, yeah, I mean, it hasn't been pretty modern because they had the, like, the, the roof straps up there. That's probably 20, so I said it ran at least in 20 to 30. Well, look, it, I think it's been patched. You can see the concrete on the outside right here. Right. I think it started to collapse on them. Yeah, they probably came in and put the straps in to try to hold it up that you see hanging from the ceiling right there. And as it got worse and worse, they had no choice but to dynamite out the side of the mountain. That's a ton of work. That's what I was telling him while we were walking over here. I said, man, can you imagine being those guys working on the railroad? And I said, okay, we're going to put a railroad through right here. As time went on, technology advanced. They had the stuff to actually do all that like they did to blow the whole hillside down. But it's almost unimaginable this was actually done by men with picks, no doubt. Yeah. This is hand cut. You, you can see the coal seam, too. You see it? Oh, yeah. There's one right there in here. So this was a, that would have been a twin seam scenario, which is why they were here in the first place. That's why the railroad's here. That's why there was a town here. It was for that little bitty coal line that you see running through these mountains. That's cool though. And a lot of people never get to see what a coal mine looks like. This is actually a very shallow seam. Casey actually worked in a coal mine. My dad did for 10 years. How deep were you in the mine y'all were at? So you're talking about what's that about half a mile underground? Oh, yeah, and then you go back for miles once you get down there, you know. So, yeah, side to you go sideways once you hit the bottom, right? You go sideways for miles 14, 15 miles sometimes out. The mines are so deep here still to this day, and it's still such a big part of the industry in Alabama that they've ran out of room and the seams have got deeper and deeper, and they're actually now mined underneath the river systems. Yeah. So the, the mines are snaking underneath the Black Warrior River, which is absolutely insane to me. And you pop a leak and uh, you're in a whole lot of trouble, but you're so deep you don't have to worry about it, I guess. Man, this is cool though, guys. I'm glad everybody wanted to see it. I'm glad that I got to put it on the channel. So let's go ahead and hike our way back out of here, I guess. And we may come back with waders though. If y'all think we should come back with waders and wade our way all the way through, let me know in the comments below. That could be a really cool future video.